Usha's Vedic Sanskrit, uses, uses, is a Vedic goddess of dawn in Hinduism. She repeatedly appears in the Rigvedic hymns, states David Kinsley, where she is consistently identified with dawn, revealing herself with the daily coming of light to the world, driving away oppressive darkness, chasing away evil demons, rousing all life, setting all things in motion, sending everyone off to do their duties. She is the life of all living creatures, the impeller of action and breath, the foe of chaos and confusion, the auspicious arouser of cosmic and moral order called the Urta in Hinduism. Ushas is the most exalted goddess in the Rig Veda, but not as important or central as the three male Vedic deities Agni, Soma, and Indra. She is on par with other major male Vedic deities. She is portrayed as a beautifully adorned young woman riding in a golden chariot or a hundred chariots, drawn by golden red horses or cows, on her path across the sky, making way for the Vedic sun god Surya. Some of the most beautiful hymns in the Vedas are dedicated to her. Her sister is Ratri, or the night. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Vedic uses is derived from the word usa which means dawn. This word comes from Proto-Indo-Iranian asterisk who s usa in Avestan, which in turn is from Proto-Indo-European asterisk h usos dawn, and is related to aos in Greek and osra in Lithuanian. It is also the basis for the word east. In Indo-European traditions, state Mallory and Adams, uses is an s-stem, i.e. the genitive case is usazas, whereby it connotes dawn goddess in Indo-European languages. Ushas is related to the Proto-Indo-European goddess asterisk husos. Her cognates in other Indo-European pantheons include the Greek goddess Aos, the Roman goddess Aurora, the Lithuanian goddess Osrine, and the English goddess Eosta Oe, Easter, whose name is probably the root of the modern English word, Easter. A non-Indo-European example, but still closely related, is the Japanese goddess Uzumi. Description Ushas is the prominent goddess of dawn in the Vedas. She is depicted as the one who imbues life to all beings, as the life of all life and breath of all breaths, according to Jones and Ryan. She is revered as the deity who revivifies earth each day, drives away the chaos and the darkness, sets all things in motion, sends all living beings to do their duties in the Vedas. Ushas is the most important goddess in the Vedic literature, but she is not as important as the three central male deities named Agni, Soma and Indra. She is mentioned in far less number of hymns than these three, but nearly equal or more number of hymns than all other male and female deities in the Vedas. Rig Veda Ushas is mentioned in numerous hymns of the Rig Veda. Forty of its hymns are dedicated to her, while her name appears in other additional hymns. She is thanked for and petitioned for driving away darkness in hymns 7.78, 6.64 and 10.172, bringer of light urged by Surya in hymn 3.61, and the chaser of evil demons in hymn 8.47. The Rigvedic hymn 1.48 describes her as drawn in a hundred chariots, revealed by the daily arrival of light, one who sets all motion to life and all life to motion, rousing people off to their duties. She is revered for giving strength in hymn 1.44, to Urta in hymn 3.61 and 7.75, and participating in daily restoration of order and fighting chaotic forces that threaten the world in hymn 1.113. Ushas is described in Vedic texts as riding in a shining chariot drawn by golden red horses or cows, a beautiful maiden bedecked with jewels, smiling and irresistibly attractive, who brings cheer to all those who gaze upon her. She dispels darkness, reveals treasures and truths that have been hidden, illuminates the world as it is. Hymn 6.64 associates her with wealth and light, while hymn 1.92 calls her the mother of cows, and one, who like a cow, gives to the benefit of all people. 
Him 1.113 calls her mother of the gods, while Him 7.81 states her to be the mother of all living beings who petition her. She is the goddess of the hearth, states Him 6.64. She symbolizes reality, is a marker of time and a reminder to all that, life is limited on Earth. She sees everything as it is, and she is the eye of the gods. According to hymns 7.75 to 77, she is variously mentioned as the sister of Ratri, Night, Aditya, and one who goes about her ways closely with deities Savitri and Surya. She is also associated with Varuna sky, water, and Agni fire, in RV 6.64.1-2 trans. Griffith, Ushas is invoked as follows, Vedic Udyu Sriya Usazo Rokamana ast her ap normio rusantaka, noti visva supatha sug ny abhud u vasvi daxina maghoni Bhadr Dadr, Kaza Irvi vi Baziut Te Socia Banavo Dyma Paptanavir Vaxa Kr, New Summer Manoso Devi Rokamana Mahobhi English translation The radiant dawns have risen up for glory, in their white splendor like the waves of waters, she maketh paths all easy, fair to travel, and, rich, hath shown herself benign and friendly. We see that thou art good, far shines thy luster, thy beams, thy splendors have flown up to heaven, decking thyself, thou makest bear thy bosom, shining in majesty, thou goddess morning, in the family books of the Rig Veda, e.g. RV 6.64.5, Ushas is the divine daughter, a devo duita, of Dias Pitta, sky father. This is taken literally in the traditional genealogies of Hindu mythology. Topic. Contemporary reverence The revered Gayatri Mantra, states George Williams, remains a daily reminder of Ushas in contemporary Hinduism. According to Sra Aurobindo, Ushas is, the medium of the awakening, the activity and the growth of the other gods, she is the first condition of the Vedic realization. By her increasing illumination the whole nature of man is clarified, through her mankind arrives at the truth, through her he enjoys truth's beatitude." Ushas is regionally worshipped during the festival of Chut Puja, in Bihar and Uttar Pradesh India, and in Nepal. See also Chaya Eosta Ratri Surya Saranyu Shani